So, hello everyone, this is the second time I'm making this tutorial, because I failed. I failed badly. I always do. I mean, I'm like in the middle of the tutorial, and I'm going to explain something, and I'm like, uh, this is a, um, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, and I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know most of the time. Most of the time I'm making music, what am I doing? Like, I just know I have to do this in order to something but I don't know why what exactly it is I'm not this kind of pro who knows everything every everything just everything I don't but I can really teach you something and it will be probably helpful so someone requested a tutorial first time someone requested something I can actually do it's about how to EQ drums I mean kicks and yeah um, I I actually don't EQ my kicks that much. I just kind of do what what I have to do, but I can still show you some tricks. And um, we will start with a layering. That's not actually EQ, is it? But but it's another thing about kicks. So let's start with layering. So what we're gonna need is two kicks, one with a low frequencies and one with a higher frequencies and here is the first kick with a low frequencies and uh, here is the second kick with higher and that's basically the two kicks you need and if you don't know by your ear if it, if it has more more lower frequencies or higher. You can also download the free plugin called Spectrum Analyzer. And uh, I don't, there is lots of Spectrum Analyzers, but I, I have this one, it's free. You can probably Google it and you will find something soon. And um, you can then play the drum and you see the frequencies. So this one is the low, the low one. You can see it has almost no high frequencies. And the second drum. Um, also has some low frequencies, but has lots of high frequencies. And then what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're gonna put a free parametric EQ2 on both of these. But first we start with a low. And what we have to do is uh, is cut off all the high frequencies from the low frequency kick. I mean it has almost no high frequencies but it has some and those are making some bad noises. So we're just gonna cut them off by dragging this circle number seven. And we can also add this peak or whatever it is. And um, that makes it uh, only low frequencies and no high frequencies. And then uh, that was actually the kick with low frequencies I hope yeah and then we go on uh, the kick with uh, high frequencies and we cut all the low frequencies so the same way we did it before and but we actually do it exactly the opposite way but it's the same way you know it's just the, the same way yeah you, you get me so now when we cut off all the frequencies we needed the kick itself, the kick itself sounds like this. Just the bass, you know. And this one is just the high frequencies. And that sounds like shit, but when you play it together, you put your kicks on the same place. You get a pretty nice kick. I mean, I use these kicks mostly for a Mostly for house and 128 BPM music, you know, and they work really well. And but I wouldn't use them for dubstep or drum bass. But I'm gonna also show you how to make kicks for dubstep and drum bass. Okay, so let's get started with the the other kick. <sighs> um, so this is. Uh, is it on the free channel? It is on the free channel. You basically choose a kick that has lots of uh, frequencies around 200, and uh, this makes the kick uh, pretty.
pretty 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 sharp i guess and you will really hear it in the mix even if there are lots of other loud sounds you still can hear the kick because it's just that way and again you can use the analyzer in order to find out what frequencies are in the kick and you can see a lot, a lot of around 200 it has the frequencies around 200 so you find a kick like this and I mean you probably need some proper sample packs for in order to achieve this effect because in most of the sample packs there are no kicks like this these kicks are probably most of the time EQ'd but you still can do some changes and stuff so you can also do a thing like EQ the kick and add even more frequencies around 200 to make it even more louder and you can see it on the analyzer unless it's under the EQ if it's if it's above the EQ you won't see the effect because actually if you don't know this matters these numbers was on the it, it matters you know so actually the free parametric EQ is changing the spectrum analyzer and if something was under the spectrum analyzer it would be changing the next thing and, and so on so it depends the okay I am pretty I, I again once again I don't know what to say but I hope you get me because if not this is a free tutorial so you know don't complain well this is the kick uh, for dubstep and what I also tend to do if I still can hear it quite I add sound good is here, which is uh, if effect which makes it pretty loud and uh, sometimes even much louder than you would have to have it also you can add the uh, wave shaper and that makes the effect pretty similar to sound good here. Uh, even louder I mean you probably should turn down the volume then but also if I don't put these effects there I just turn up the volume and that will make the kick also pretty loud in the mix so really have your kicks and snare uh, above the other knobs that will help that will definitely help and what I also did here just to show you the first kick with some some melody some random melody really I don't even know what the hell is this I just put some some notes here and randomly and it's pretty good <laughs> but you know I didn't really think about what I'm doing <laughs> did here is sign chained the kick with the Zeta. Zeta. Okay that was that was really weird how I said it. But yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped in any way. I know I'm not the best guy to make tutorials, but I try. Goodbye.